how to connect Shopify with Amazon. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be going over how you can connect your Amazon account to Shopify and import products onto your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, Amazon has a associates program, which is also known as the affiliate program, and you can click on product linking over here. If you don't have a associates account, you will have to create one. It's a very simple process. Just go on to affiliate-program.amazon.com and this will be, you know, a sign up page. I have already signed up. It takes a little time. It can take like upwards of a week to get approved. Once you are approved, you can start adding your Amazon product onto your Shopify store. So the first thing you want to do to be able to do this is obviously to set up Amazon Associates. If you don't have that account, Amazon won't let you import products. Now, once you have completed that, you can go into your Shopify dashboard. Once you are in your Shopify dashboard, you want to click on settings on the bottom left, click on apps and sales channel, and then click on Shopify app store on the top right over here. Once you do that, a new tab will open up. This is the Shopify app store where you're going to add the Amazon linking app. So from here, you're just going to search for Amazon and there are multiple different uh, applications or integrations, you can call them, that allow you to sell products from Amazon. So the one that I like to use is Amazon Integration Plus because it has a free plan, but I don't really recommend it. It has, you know, a lot of bugs often and, you know, there are issues with it. So what I recommend is using Amazon Importer Spreader app. This one is very efficient and you can see by the ratings it, you know, is one of the best or the said commerce Amazon channel. So I'm going to use the Amazon Importer Spreader app. Then I will click on add application and it starts at only $5 a month. So it's relatively inexpensive. From here, you're just going to click on install application. And you guys can see the payment plan. You're gonna going to click on approve over here. It's $5 every 30 days. And then you will be linked to the Amazon dashboard. So the first thing you want to do is you can see on the top, you have this basic home page. Then you have a settings page. Then you have your associates ID that you can save over here. So you're going to go into your Amazon associates. You can go into your account settings and then copy and paste your associates ID. Now, next you have your tools and in your tools, you can add, you know, uh, any of your keywords or ASIN numbers for the items that you want to import. So I'm just going to open up Amazon and you guys can then see your account section. So you have your basic information. Now I'm going to go back into the home section and you have the Amazon product link. So to get started, it's very easy. First thing we want to do is to integrate our uh, Amazon Associates account. So to integrate our Amazon Associates account, you want to click on Amazon Associates. And this will open up a new tab and it can take a couple of seconds. Now, once you do that, you will be able to see your account information and you can link it up. Then you have your product links. And now if I go onto Amazon and I view any product, so let's say I go into all and I go into maybe dresses. So if I open up this item over here, you guys can see the entire item, the listing. So I can copy the item uh, URL and I'm going to go into my Amazon product link back in my Spreadico app, click on add product. And now it is importing the product directly from Amazon to Shopify. Uh, this might take a little while, but it's rather easy. Now, the thing that a lot of people get confused about is that once you have added the product, what do you do next? Well, you can click on edit over here and this will open up your Shopify dashboard. You can obviously edit the appearance of how it's going to appear in your Shopify store. So maybe I don't want such a long title on my Shopify store. So I would remove all these items and all this. And after that, you have your entire product details, you have the pricing, uh, you have all of the items, you know, all the details will be imported from Amazon as they are, and you don't have to really change a lot. So you can just click on save over here. And just like that, your product has been added. Now, if I go into my product section on my, you know, Shopify dashboard, I can see my item and I can even click on preview on online store to see what is appearing on my online store. And then if someone clicks on buy it now, obviously currently I haven't built my checkout systems, but obviously it's going to check out on your own website. 
So after that, if we take a look at other products, you can import any kind of product that you like as long as you have a uh, valid associates account. Uh, if you go back into your spreader code dashboard, if you click on sync over here, this will re-import the product data and especially if you have products that are being updated, then you definitely want to make sure that you are linking and syncing the items. And the best part is, is that uh, you need to make sure that you set up your Amazon Associates ID. It even gives you a notification if you don't. So if you link your Associates ID, then and only then do you receive your actual commissions uh, of the sales that you are going to make. So it's very essential that you are linking your associates id to the spreader co application and you are now going to be able to uh, easily sell products now if you go into your settings you actually have default values now default values are the vendor autofill from amazon how you want everything to be set up so then you have the currency all of that you also have buttons how you want them to appear and the button text can have two things view on amazon or buy on amazon you can change that as well then you have your markup pricing. So uh, let's say that you want to sell it for more on your own Shopify store from Amazon. So you can choose to increase that by a multiplier. I do not recommend doing this because people are not going to visit your site and you won't be able to receive quite a large sum of commissions if people constantly find that you are overpricing Amazon products. So that's just something to do. Now, I hope you guys found this video helpful. This is just it. It's rather simple. And if you don't like this integration, you can definitely use the other Shopify apps that I recommended. They are all just as useful and efficient to use. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to share it with another friend. Make sure to share it with your business partners as well. So you guys can learn together and check out our other videos. I have quite a few videos on Shopify, how you can import products from CJ Dropshipping, AliExpress and so many other suppliers as well. And how you can customize your Shopify store. Make sure to check those out. And if you ever feel like uh, you're having errors with a Shopify, you know, application, if you go into apps and sales channels, you can even just click on Shopify app store and download applications from there. But if you find that you're having errors with certain applications, you can't find them on the app store, you can directly download them and open up the zip file uh, that allows you to integrate apps directly onto your Shopify store. I have some people that found it an issue to import plugins from here. So just Go on Google search for the app that you're looking for and a native website link usually does appear where you can download it from. So I will catch you guys in the next video.